South Africa today is still afflicted by a tremendous set of challenges. With total unemployment in Gauteng at 25% and youth unemployment at 31.5%. 9 out of every 10 unemployed young people don't have work experience and 3 out of 5 have been unemployed for more than a year. Youth are two times more likely to be unemployed than adults. Firstly, what we know because of the structural problems in our economy, uh, the overwhelming majority of uh, the unemployed are youth. In South Africa, we do have a challenge of unemployment. Um, we sit with 25% of our people who are unemployed. Young people are the most um, affected, including women, including people with disabilities. The severest impact of unemployment is largely amongst the youth. It's a matter of great concern. The majority of those people are young people, and it's also women, and we do have uh, some people with disabilities as well. And once uh, the economy is affected, we're not able to grow the economy, we're not able to bring more uh, people into the job market. As you know, we would have lost about a million jobs uh, as a result of that recession. It's the scourge of our communities and it leads to a number of different social issues. I think in South Africa we've had some challenges with poverty and employment for quite some time now. In our community, plus minus 75% of our people is unemployed. It's, a, it's very difficult to get a job. It's not that easy. As a young woman, I'm finding it very hard to find a job in South Africa. Sometimes you can go home without anything. This is the only way that I found a means of feeding my family. I support my family with the money I get from here. If there is no money, which means my family is starving. I do sometimes go hungry. I'm a father of three kids, and this is the only way that I can be able to like get employment so that I can feed my family. Unemployment in general are issues that really should be at the heart of everything that we do in this country. It's come to a halt where we realize that we're not going to be able to progress if we do not address it. If government can do more for, for the women especially and our youth in our communities, uh, there will be a turnaround. Our government must do better and they must be able to alleviate people some of alleviate people out of the situation that they have in terms of the poverty, unemployment and inequalities that exist within the country. I actually like the government to increase employment and you know where we can they can actually market on our behalf. If the government can do something for us, uh, I think it will be better for us to survive in this world. The Premier has pronounced the following pillars as called to the development of the province over the next five years and to addressing the pressing challenges the province is faced with. Transition and placement. Identification of skills and assistance with placement. Direct employment. Government directly playing a role in placing young people. Internships. EPWP, private sector partnerships, youth wage incentives, industrialization and other sector initiatives, development of economic infrastructure. Skills development, assisting with training for placement, the right skills for today's economy. Entrepreneurship, linking the township economy to the broader economy. Part of Phase 3 of the EPWP program, TEPO 500,000, is aimed at creating 500,000 opportunities over the next five years. TEPO 500,000 is an anchor program focused on radical economic transformation. Through implementing this initiative, Gauteng Province will be an activist interventionist and developmentally focused province, contributing to an inclusive and growing economy in Gauteng. TEPO 500,000 is an intervention that focuses on the youth because, as I say, unemployment affects the youth uh, most. The Gauteng TEPO 500,000 project is a wonderful, exciting project. Uh, it was initiated by Honorable Premier David Makura. Sepo 500,000, it's one of uh, uh, many uh, important and significant programs. Essentially, the intervention on Sepo 500,000 
is to deal with these uh, different categories of young people. We know in our economy that skills uh, is the central issue. It's, it's really about um, in cre creating sustainable employment for these unemployed young people, women, people with disability, especially those young people. All our programs uh, are geared towards making sure that we intervene in a way that will help uh, young people to uh, acquire skills in large numbers to help them to find jobs. That's why focusing on uh, giving young people hope, which is what TEPO means. TEPO is about hope, giving young people hope. The first intervention in giving them that hope is to equip them with the kind of skills that will make it easy for them. Gauteng TEPO 500,000 will assist them to, to be skilled on entrepreneurial uh, skills by the departments of Gauteng, by local government, all the you know, municipalities in Gauteng. If we succeed with this program, which we will, it means we would have touched and um, impacted in 500,000 families. We want to give them just one thing, the opportunity to improve their lives. The project will assist in alleviating the unemployment backlog through job creation programs forcing economic inclusion of youth, women and people with disabilities through inspiring wider economic activities. Integrated skills training and development to graduate will give them opportunities to gain working experience. SEPA 500,000 is a Gauteng Provincial Government initiative. It's aimed at addressing um, youth unemployment. It's a skills development, uh, employment creation and entrepreneurship development initiative uh, of the province. What they're looking at essentially is to ensure that there is a coordinated strategy with regard to all these opportunities for young people, uh, disabled people and women. Within five years, do away with uh, a lot of hardship. We will find a situation where we have Youth coming into the program who are able to access a number of different work opportunities in conjunction and in partnership with the private sector. We want to target that 500,000 young people uh, will benefit from the program over the next period of five years. At the end of the day, we want to see a multiplier effect that leads to eradicating the entire uh, uh, unemployment. The province will certainly become a different place to live in. We will see young people whose hope will be restored. We will see young people will be very happy um, at, at finding jobs but at being involved as well. That hopeful, youthful energy turned into a source of great, great inspiration for the future. Young people create companies, they then employ 10 other young people. So the multiplier effect of this program is actually what we're looking at. We just need to work very hard as a country, uh, together as, as a province, and that can then allow counting specifically then to grow and expand, and in expansion more opportunities uh, come up for everybody else. With 500,000 opportunities created, youth in the townships will be able to live a better life, contribute to themselves and their economy. Youth will be lifted out of a life of poverty and depression. They will be brought into the mainstream society, be able to fulfill their dreams and aspirations, and more importantly, realize their own potential. Utilizing state-of-the-art technological platforms constructed to connect the private sectors and corporates with the man on the street, this initiative is strongly geared towards empowering the underprivileged youth, women and people with disabilities, providing them with the necessary training, entrepreneurial skills and direct business networks in order to create job opportunities while simultaneously contributing to the alleviation of poverty in Gauteng, South Africa. Instead of providing welfare, we believe in empowering our citizens by providing workfare. By funding transport, registration and training costs, we are paving the way for previously disadvantaged citizens to enter the job market. With Lulaway, we then, uh, they actually worked with us to establish uh, the job portal. Lulaway has improved 
the actual hiring process dramatically within our organization. With the Lula Way, uh, we believe that there is an impact. Going to a center like Lula Way allows them to be able to be in a structured environment that captures the critical details that immediately makes them available. And they would be assisted in terms of life skills, they would be assisted in terms of putting together a bankable curriculum vitae. The job center platform is vital to addressing the unemployment factor. It makes it so much easier to match the people that are available with what you are looking for as McDonald's. I am a, a learner at, at this Camp Pharmacies and I am enjoying being a learner. I am a multi-skilled consultant for FNB. I've been working for FNB for a year now. I've been working at McDonald's for 10 months since February. I first worked as a consultant, you know, answering phone calls, working at the call center side, and then I moved a month later, like end of July, to work at the operations department. Before this job, I was actually a student and uh, after that I actually dropped out due to some financial reasons and then got to Lula Way. I was, I was able to pick myself up and now I'm a learner again. It has been interesting, I've been learning a lot, it's fun at times, at times so much pressure, but so far yes I'm enjoying myself. I got my job through Lula Way, the job centre. I applied, I went to the branch in Plain Street, I submitted my CV and they connected me with FNB. We have created 47 job and opportunity centers throughout the province. These will serve as a platform that creates accessible avenues for the youth to enter the workplace and get access to opportunities, while simultaneously providing a reliable method for employers and opportunity providers to recruit high-quality entry-level staff with a guarantee of their basic aptitude and suitability. With our unwavering intention to eliminate poverty and unemployment in South Africa, we believe that TEPO 500,000 will be the resurrection to a brighter future. I see the success of TEPO 500,000, a situation where we have young people from all backgrounds, black and white, you know, Indian and colored who have been, who used to be in the streets, uh, including who were living hopeless lives, who are now the source of inspiration for other young people in, in our country that uh, with a supportive environment, they can seize uh, opportunities and transform their own lives. That, that for me will be the greatest inspiration. When I cr come across young people now who say, you know, in South Africa it is possible, uh, to do, to become anything you want in life as long as you have determination. That for me is crucial. <laughs>